Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Well, you know what that is? Do you really? Well, what that is, that's the throttle body off this Dodge over here. It's real easy to get off. And the reason I've taken it off is because that I'm having some idle problems with that truck. I was telling you originally I thought the IEC was not working or wasn't working right, so I've had some some ongoing issues with that. It idles too slow sometimes, and then sometimes it won't even idle at all when you start it cold. It just starts up, goes dead, starts up, goes dead. You have to keep your foot on it. So uh, that'd be okay if it was a carburetor and no choke, but with a fuel injected engine, it's not supposed to do any of that crap. So anyway, I've taken this thing off, and it sits on here like this. This is the front of it. This is the map sensor you see here in the front, manifold absolute pressure. It measures the pressure in the intake, so to speak. That's a throttle position sensor, which looks like it's been replaced at some point. And your linkage connection over here, and then at the back, this port here, uh, which leads in right here, is the IC, which is a idle air control. And that's this guy. Sits in there with two screws, and it's got a little O-ring there that seals it. And this is the plunger, and you see, if I can make it focus, yeah, it's a camera. It's a battle against me and the camera, but you see those little shiny ring right there. That's where this thing seats, and you see all that goop that's around it? Well, it's not supposed to be there. That starts messing with the idle air flow. So basically what this thing does is, if you don't know, is that normally the throttle blades are closed all the way, permitting no air to flow through, or maybe very little, but irregardless, normally they're mostly closed, and so that permits the engine to idle, have some air to idle with, and it's computer controlled, so keeps it from stalling. Basically it keeps it from doing everything it's doing now. So that said, I figured there was a problem in here. And number one thing is I figured this thing needed to be cleaned, and it does. Uh, first thing you notice, you see that stuff there, the brown stuff? Do you know what that is? That's mud water residue that got sucked into the engine, or at least landed in the throttle body. And that was from that stupid cold air kit that somebody had that truck out, some redneck had it out there with a two-wheel drive truck going through mud holes and stuff and trying to be a four-wheeler and splash mud up all over the engine and some of it got all the way through that thing into here so it's a wonder it didn't hydrolock the engine but fortunately it doesn't look like it did so the same thing's going on is the throttle blades themselves over time get really goopy with just whatever and you can see there hopefully see where I've scraped that away with my fingernail the shiny part that's how thick that gunk is on there uh, there's something in there. I don't know what that is right there. It looks like something stuck to it, but it's gunky over here. It's gunky down here, and if this thing is normally cracked open a little bit, once it gets gunk up in here, and it's that gunk over there, that gunk, like I said, cuts the airflow down. So then your your idle speed starts doing it starts decreasing over time, and pretty soon it starts where it won't work right at all. It won't idle hardly until it warms up. So. Anyway, I'm going to go through this and clean this thing up. And you know what Retro Chad would use on this? He would use some Berryman's B12. And that's exactly what I'm going to use. That's the best stuff to use on things. I get that. Sometimes I run that cheap uh, no-name brake cleaner stuff or carb cleaner spray at the parts store for buy one get one free. But you have to use it and use it and use it to cut through this stuff. And the Berryman's just eats it right up. So I will take that get my glove stuck on that for some reason I will take that o-ring off make sure I don't damage that and how many of you are lucky enough like I am to have a manila folder envelope with your name written on it just like me that's that's so that whenever I sit here and I either forget my name or I just want to see something with my name on it I look at that no, actually, that's some of the internal mail that I receive periodically at work. So they just send it in a envelope like that, and they put my name on it. There's a guy named Neil. His has Neil on it. And there's a guy named Steve. His has Steve on it. That's how that works. 
<laughs> so anyway guys that's the deal here that's what I'm doing and so hopefully this thing will work out the only thing I saw about this that makes me a little nervous not really nervous but disturbs me is that somebody has been into this they've this is supposed to have this is the let's say this correctly so everybody understands the screw here now I know everybody that don't know much about these things says that's the idle speed screw right there no that ain't the idle speed screw in any idle speed screw on these it doesn't have an idle speed screw what that is is that's the throttle angle screw and you use that normally you don't touch this thing normally there's a plug over this but some redneck has been in here didn't know I guess this thing started acting up and they didn't know any better they didn't know what they were doing so they dug that plug out after much effort drilled it out and got into there where they could run that screw in so this thing's probably out of adjustment you have to the way you're supposed to if you ever have to mess with this after somebody has come along and screwed with it in other words you have to fix their mess up what you have to do is you have to get this thing running and warmed up or it's in closed loop and then you stick your thumb down in here and block off this port for the IAC and then you use whatever tool you need to set this so that it idles at 800 rpm or thereabouts so joy joy I gotta do that because somebody just didn't know what they were doing didn't clean that you didn't clean that so you just mess with the screw again if you don't know what you're doing take it to a professional or get your phone out and read some instructions on this okay have a good day everybody see you